And welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975, and today I am starting a brand new series on Forza Horizon 5, where we're going to be building some off-road rally cars and taking them down a specific rally course that I myself have made. So today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you the rally course. We're going to be setting a benchmark time here in our Audi Quattro. All the cars in this series are going to be upgraded to S1 class, the top of S1 class. They will keep their original stock engine if they can get to the top of S1 class. If they need the extra uh, PI to get to the top of S1 class, then engine swaps will be allowed. They will also keep their stock drivetrain. That means front wheel drives will remain front wheel drive. All wheel drive cars will remain all wheel drive and rear wheel drive will remain rear wheel drive now the track is one i made myself it's basically the first two miles of the gauntlet so i have upgraded this audi i have tuned this car we're going to go and show you the route now and then we'll come back we'll build another car and see if we can at least match or beat the audi's benchmark time Okay, so here we are at the start of the track. Of course, if you want to download this track for yourself, then you can do. Um, it is just called Rally Test Track, and I will leave the share code in the description below. But let's see what we can do in the Audi here for our benchmark time. So the first part of the track, as you can see here, is on the road. So this will test the vehicle's road capabilities and then from this point on the rest of the course is off-road. We've got a couple of water splashes like we've got there. We've got some nice long straights, we've got some hairpins, we've got a few nice sweeping corners coming to the second water splash and then immediately to the third water splash. That one's a little bit deeper, it slows you down quite a bit more. Now, of course, the Audi is all-wheel drive, and it is built for this kind of thing. So, this car should be coping with this a lot better than some of our rear-wheel or front-wheel drive vehicles. It is a little bit unfair, you might say, why are we uh, pitching, you know, uh, two-wheel drive cars against all-wheel drive cars? Well, actually, in rally racing in real life, that is how it is. So, that is what we'll be doing in this series. Now each car that goes round this track is going to get three attempts at beating the Audi's time and then if it does beat the Audi's time the quickest time out of those three is the one that we will be going with. So that basically means if I have a little bit of an off or like there if I miss the checkpoint ever so slightly then I have two more attempts to try and beat the Audi's time. Now I'm making a little bit of a hash of this, so um, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna shut up and concentrate a little bit. But you should be getting an idea of the course. I'm actually going to rewind a little bit there because that was some terrible driving by me. Now I do have um, anti-lock brakes turned off. I also have uh, manual. Um, gear shifting i don't have the clutch on it's just manual so b to go up a to go down um but i prefer the manual gears it just makes something like this a lot easier because the automatic gearbox can be a little bit annoying but there we go that is the finish line off into the cornfields we'll see what it was again in a second two minutes 15.419 it was not a very clean lap i'll admit but that is going to be our benchmark time in the Audi Quattro. I'm going to go and get another car now, which I'm going to build with you guys. And then we'll te test that against the Audi and see what kind of time we can do. And here we go. This is the car I have chosen to go with for our first episode. It is the 2017 Ford RS. 
focus and uh, what you might know about this vehicle it is all-wheel drive the same as the Audi it has a rally pedigree the same as the Audi and it's roughly similar horsepower to the Audi once upgraded so this then is our modern equivalent of the Audi and I'm curious to see how fast this thing is compared to the Audi so let's go ahead and upgrade the thing and see how much uh, horsepower we can actually get in it the Audi was putting out about a thousand horsepower now the focus here we can go ahead and put a body kit on it if we want to I am NOT going to be putting a body kit on for today the drivetrain swaps you can swap it to all-wheel drive but as I said we're going to be keeping it all-wheel drive because that is the stock drivetrain we can also go ahead and put in the 6.2 litre V8 if we need some extra PI but for now we'll go ahead and upgrade it with uh, stock parts so we've got some uh, aero we can go ahead and put on this thing I'm going to put the aero on because we're going to need as much downforce as we can possibly get now all the cars will be running rally tyres and you might be saying why are you not doing the off-road race tyre compound? Well because it's a rally car I'm doing this series to show you guys what some of the fastest rally cars are in the game and a lot of the dirt racing series are half tarmac and half dirt. Now most of our racetrack is dirt but the very start of it is tarmac. So to make this more realistic we're going to be putting um, the dirt tyres on or the rally tyres on all the cars we'll go for max tyre width I'm going to keep the stock wheels as well then we'll go into the drivetrain and we'll put in a race clutch the transmission we have got a few different options I'm going to be going for the race transmission or the race transmission 7 speed in most of our cars I'm not a huge fan of the 10 gears because you're forever changing up and down the gears and when you're rally racing you've got enough to think about now the diff we're going to be putting the rally or off-road diff in any of the cars we can we'll go ahead and put full brakes on and all the cars will be running off-road suspension as well We'll put full anti-roll bars on so we can tune that if possible the cars are going to be running full weight reduction as well or as much weight reduction as they can this car is easily going to be able to run full weight reduction then uh, in the engine parts really here it's just a matter of making up the pi so we've got we got 35 pi to play with i'm going to go ahead and put on level one upgrades for each component first and then we'll come back and already actually we're nearly up to S1 class um, so actually we need to be to the top of S1 class so I'm going to go ahead and put on max upgrades on all of these the camshaft always seems to be the one that takes the PI up quite a lot the same with the exhaust actually and for those who didn't know if you've not seen any Forza Horizon 5 gameplay you can now rev your car in the, uh, the custom shop and the different exhausts actually make a different sound which is nice so you can sort of preview them without having to go outside we've also got a turbo on this thing that's quite nice And it looks like we are actually struggling to get the PI a little bit there. So let's actually see how much horsepower. We've got 583 horsepower. I'm going to go ahead and put in the V8. Um, not something I'd normally do. But we need the PI. So, And I'm also going to put in the turbos. And then we'll go back in here. I'll slap everything on max actually doesn't sound terrible with the V8 in there we've got twin turbos now and with all the upgrades on this thing should be cl it's close enough to the top of S1 class 
The top of S1 class is 900. We're at 889. Um, there probably is some other upgrades that we could put on this thing to get it up there, but it's as close as we can get it. Um, I'm happy with that. The car is running 1,017 horsepower, 852 pound feet of torque. The car weighs just over two and a half thousand pounds, which is not too stupid. And it has a seven liter V8 with two twin turbos on. So this thing in theory, all wheel drive, a thousand horsepower. It has rally pedigree, should be faster than the Audi. So I'm going to do a little bit of tuning now, and then we'll have three runs to beat the Audi's time. So here we are with our very first competitive uh, race down this track in the 2017 RS Focus. I've also gone ahead and painted the thing. I've done a little bit of tuning. We've got three attempts. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Now, with the V8, the V8 has a lot more torque, which means it should be able to put a lot more of that power down to the ground through those wheels. The first bit of track here is quite bumpy. Got to slow it down for this tight sort of first hairpin corner almost. Not quite a hairpin. Through the first water splash, keeping it slow through there as well. We've got a lot of power to control, so it's not going to be full blast all around this track. We're going to be feathering the throttle quite a lot, I think, getting it slowed down for these corners. I'm already noticing the RS has a lot better brakes than the Audi. I was overshooting quite a lot of these corners in the Audi, but the focus here is controlling its power very nicely. Onto the second of our long straight. This is where it gets a little bit bumpy. Slowing it down for these corners. The RS brakes working well there into the hairpin corner. Keeping it nice and tight through there. A little bit of understeer on the exit, but not terrible. Onto the second bumpy little bit there and into another tight right hander. And we've got the little uphill wiggly section. This bit's quite nice. We've got a little bit of a crest there. Some of the faster cars may jump that. I say faster. I don't know how we're going to get more than a 1,000 horsepower out of a car. This Focus is probably going to be one of our faster cars. Slowing it down for this corner. It's a very deceptive corner, that. It looks very, very small. It looks like a very fast corner. But in fact, it is quite a nasty one coming into the last couple of turns here a little bit wide on the exit there we can tidy that up for sure i'm also in the wrong gear and then down the hill to the finish line what is the time going to be we'll have to wait and see two minutes eight five nine five that is already faster than the audi quattro but i think this car has a lot more to give i've got two more runs so let's see if we can shave off a little bit more time okay and here we go for our second attempt in the rs let's see how we can do there was a few areas there where i could have shaved down a little bit of time i could have been tighter into the apex there's a few areas where i miss gear changes as well now this first bit i am always a little bit concerned about because it's quite a fast section into what is two very tight right hand corners but into the first water splash it's a tight left corner again slowing it down quite nicely and then into the big water splash i think i want to keep it through third in there actually it hits the rev limiter in the water but as soon as i come out it's struggling in fourth but then into the right hand corner and then on to another left hand that's quite a nice corner, you can just drift it round there nicely. Onto the second long straight, this is where it gets a little bit bumpy going up the hill. We've got this little jump here and then it's slowing it down nicely for that very shallow corner. And then into the hairpin, we want a second gear through here. 
a little bit of a drift and then out in third that was very nice much faster than our first lap i think and then into the two tight right handers and up the hill to the crest this is the little wiggly section quite a nice little section though here it's very flat we got this little crest but then it's slowing it down at the top of the crest for that shallow left hander and then we're on into the final last couple of turns this corner here you've really really got to slow it down hit the apex and i've shot wide there i could have been a lot braver but then we're on to the final section slowing it down for these corners a little bit of a flick of the tail there nice a little bit of oversteer and then we get some understeer on the exit but not too bad we're up to two minutes there it's the run down the hill let's see what we can do with it and that is faster than our first lap that was a two minutes six seconds seven nine three but i think we still got a few little bits there we can shave some time off and possibly get this thing down to a two three or even a two two so let's see what we can do okay final run in the focus this is where we've got it all to do it's a good launch into the first couple of corners of course on the road and then we are onto the dirt into our first water splash it's a little bit bumpy on this first straight we need to get it slowed way down for these first two right hand corners it's a very deceptive bit of road that because you've got a long straight section and then two very sharp corners slowing it down for the third water splash here i'm going to leave it in third and into fourth there and then this is another deceptively uh, slow corner a little drift on the exit hitting the rev limiter a little bit there this is a beautiful corner downshift into third and then back into fourth on the exit coming into our second long straight here this is where it gets bumpy not too bad slowing it down for that corner there a little cut on the grass but nothing serious and then i'm going to keep it in third for the chicane here or for the hairpin mine and then onto another little straight section it's quite bumpy along here as well i'm going to downshift to third for that corner coming out of our second right hander and then into my favorite section is this little fast sort of hill area into the crest then downshift to four for the exit into the tight left hander coming into the deceptively slow actually uh right hander i could have kept my foot down a bit there but i'm just curious about hitting that corner correctly and then we're on to probably what is the faster of the corners on the track A little bit of a slide on the exit there, slowing it down for that corner. We're already up to the two minute mark. Are we going to beat that time? I don't think we've done enough. No, it was not faster than our second lap. Two minutes, 7.44. Well, there we have it. That will be our time for the leaderboard. Two minutes, six seconds, 0.793 for the 2017 focus rs it was faster than the audi in the end but stay tuned to the channel for loads more episodes coming up in the next couple of weeks where we're going to be taking all kinds of different cars building them and seeing what kind of time they can put down on our track that's going to do it for this video though thanks all so much for watching i hope you did enjoy and i'll see you in the next video